How's it going Star Seekers? My name's Luke and welcome back to the channel and to another indie game review, this time for a game called Discoloured. It's a short puzzle adventure game which takes place at an abandoned diner void of all colour, where it's your job to solve puzzles in order to restore its colour and reveal exactly what happened to the place. Now I'm going to try and avoid spoilers as much as I can in this review, particularly because the game's not very long. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content and want to see more, and let's get into it. So Discolored was originally released on Apple Arcade, followed closely by a Steam release, and it's just been ported to the Switch, where it's available for £8.99 on the UK eShop and $9.99 on the US eShop. Now upon starting the game you're given no context as to where you are or what your objective is and this first area acts as an introduction to the game's controls. You're able to select between two control schemes for the game, those being point and click and free roam and with point and click you click or tap certain locations on the screen to move to them whereas free roam mode is exactly that, allowing you to manually move your character with left and right thumbsticks and you're also able to run by holding ZL whilst in free roam mode. Now other than the movement controls, you only really have a couple of other buttons to worry about. The A button interacts with objects and the Y button opens your inventory where you can combine certain objects and select them to be used with other objects. There aren't too many items in the game so you don't really need to worry about having a packed inventory and objects and the uses are generally pretty straightforward, meaning you usually won't be at a loss as to what to do with them. So after working your way through the opening section, you're then transported to the diner location and its monochrome colour palette. From here you're given no direction on what to do and you're simply tasked with exploring the area, finding different objects and working out where you need to use them in order to progress forwards. Despite it being in the puzzle game genre, the game functions more like a point and click adventure than anything else and while there are a couple of puzzles in the game which actually require you to logically solve them, even then the solutions are relatively simple and don't require much thought to work them out. Now as you work your way through the game, you'll begin to find these coloured prisms which when placed in the relevant sockets restore that particular colour to the world, unveiling some previously hidden aspects of it. I thought that this alongside the picture viewer mechanics offered some really cool and unique puzzle dynamics and I liked how you had to add and remove different colours in order to solve some of the game's puzzles. I do however wish that there had been a little more complexity to the puzzles and that there had also have been more of these mechanics implemented into them. Now overall, Discolored is not a difficult game and most of your time will be spent trying to work out exactly where certain items should be used. I did have a couple of occasions which had me a little stumped, but if you do find yourself at a loss as to what to do, the game features a hint system which will usually guide you in the right direction. In all, the game took me about an hour and a half to complete, and while the eShop description informed me of the two hour playtime, I was a little saddened when the game ended, especially with the way it teased at the potentially being more to play. In a way it felt as though the game was left unfinished and while this may have been the intended ending to the game, I'm still left hoping that the developer releases additional chapters in order to wrap up some of the questions left after this first venture. Now mechanically I encountered no issues or bugs with the game and performance wise everything ran smoothly. I liked the visual style of the game and the way in which colours were used to highlight certain aspects of the environment and the audio design was also pretty decent with the 1920s music just adding to the game's unsettling atmosphere. Overall, Discolored is an enjoyable, albeit short, puzzle adventure experience. It has some interesting gameplay mechanics which work well and give it its own uniqueness amongst other puzzle games, and while I do think it's a little overpriced considering its content, it's well worth picking up if you can grab it in a sale. When it comes to my own personal rating of the game, I'm going to be giving Discolored 3 out of 5 stars. If you've got a couple of hours to burn and fancy a puzzle game which won't tax your brain too hard, then Discolored is something that's definitely worth taking a look at. And so that's about it for this review of Discolored on the Nintendo Switch. Make sure to hit that like button if it helped you out, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the game and share your favourite puzzle adventure games in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this type of content and want to see more. For now though, as always, I just want to thank you all once again for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves, 
and game on.